Hey, what is up, guys? So this is Armin once again, and um, I'm here to talk about my MCU retrospective series and what that's about, how much content really goes into it, and why some of it gets cut, I guess. Um, so essentially, I, I wanted to do this long retrospective because I want to kind of give people an entire history of the MCU specifically, uh, you know, because there's a lot in it, and a lot of little details, and a lot of fascinating stuff behind the scenes that happen. And I thought it was a lot worth talking about. And I was like, you know, I, I could talk about it. Um, so I decided to do it. And originally, I shot the first three parts in like two days, and then Windows 10 decided to update itself, and then nothing worked. My editing program broken. Um, I couldn't hear sound, so I had to revert. When I reverted. It had to revert to a stance where, or a state of my PC where none of that audio existed. So it undid it all. So I had to redo it again, and that's why everything got delayed. And then I really lost the willpower, and I was like, I'll put on episode one, I'll see how it does. And people loved it, and I was like, okay, so now i got to get back to working on it. Which essentially, if you guys don't know, um, it's going to be 14 parts, and this is a lot of info to cram. You know, all the Netflix shows, all the, the TV show, the back history, uh, the movies, everything's got to be crammed into 14 parts that are going to be under 10 hours, so when I cook them all together, it's one giant retrospective. So essentially, when I did the first part, at the end of it, I wrote down all the details I wanted to cover, then I went and looked up stuff, so essentially what happens is I sit down and I go, okay, I'm talking about Marvel's bankruptcy and Iron Man 1, and I line out the basic things I remember in my head, and I go, okay, I gotta go look into this. So I go start looking at how stuff was happening year by year, and I go, okay, well, this is important, this is important, this is important. I'll talk about it right here. I'll list all these important subjects I have to touch. And then I write out a loose script of how I kind of want to talk about it, and then I go back, and I kind of lay it out, and I go, okay, this is what I'm talking about. And then Iron Man 1, that kind of changed, because Iron Man 1 was like, I have to talk about these certain aspects of everything with the idea that if I talk about this too long, other parts are going to have to suffer. And other movies, such as Avengers, are going to take precedent over other movies, right? So I have to make sure I plan out everything. So when I roughly sketched it out, I'm like, okay, so this part's going to take this long because there's a lot that fizzles out of this movie that goes and touches the other ones. Where Iron Man was largely built like a standalone movie because they didn't know if that was going to kick off the MCU story. Toss out Iron Man, right? So originally episode one, instead of being like, what is it, 19 minutes or something that I put out, was originally about 18 minutes longer. And when I went back through, I go and I go, okay, so here's the detail. So when we're talking about how much money they had per movie, I found six different articles, three sourced one sum, two sourced another, and a third one had like something in between. In their own article, they sourced two different things. I was like, so I'll take this stab here for money. And that's kind of like what a lot of it is, right? Um, not, none of this is, a lot of this isn't official, and some of it is, but two websites twisted it. You know how this gets passed through the grapevine, right? Like, when Inhumans recently got announced, in the press release, they don't mention Black Bull or Medusa at all. CBM posted an article, confirmed Black Bull Medusa. I'm like, why did you see this? There's nowhere. You're literally pulling this out of nowhere. They were never confirmed, but so that's what happens with a lot of these sites. You just kind of have to go... I guess this is the number I'm going to go with, and if someone sources me, I'll go, well, here's my source, right? So, at the end of the day, I cut out certain stuff, and I made that episode short. And then the second episode, Incredible Hulk Iron Man 2, there was a lot more to talk about. That's why it's longer, you know? There was a lot of stuff with Edward Norton, and I debate whether I'm going to talk about certain aspects of the series. Like, I come into it, and I'm like, okay, well, I could talk about this, and I need to talk about this, but what don't I need to talk about? Um... Do I need to talk about some of the aspects of, like, Captain America and how the video game was going to impact the future of the... N not really, right? So I kind of leave that out. Do I need to talk about how the Incredible Hulk game did this that kind of hinted towards... No, I, that's not really important because there's other important stuff, right? The production, the pre-production, the directors that were in the running. Um, Specifically, I needed to mention that Louis Leterrier was interested in helming other Marvel movies, like the Avengers. So when the Avengers comes up, I can go, oh, Lou Leterrier, who directed The Incredible Hulk, ah, you know, I talked about it. Like, So you, I kind of like, when I 
laid out the 14 episodes, I have to go, okay, so these are going to be like the literal connecting dots that I have, have to like hit upon in every single movie. That's why I mentioned Ant-Man as early as episode one, because we know that Ant-Man is one of his production so long ago, just like Doctor Strange. So I have to lay out that foundation, so when there's one giant 10-hour retrospective, it's like, ah, there's a through line, that's why he keeps mentioning it. So everything I'm doing with the series has a reason to why I'm not mentioning certain aspects or why certain aspects have to get cut. And that's unfortunate, but you'll see when the 14 parts are done, that it's really one comprehensive, huge video that reaches from 1992-ish to, by the time it's done, my god, it's Guardians 2 might be out, I don't even know. It's taken a little longer because I'm really trying to flesh out all the details, but... You're getting every new episode every two to three weeks, so let that kind of be an indicator um, with episode four coming, I don't know, November 10th, I think? Don't quote me on that, but I think it's November 10th. So stay tuned. Hopefully this kind of did a little bit good for you guys to kind of describe on why I'm making this series and why I want to do it. And um, if this series is a success and you guys want more, there's plenty of other movies out there I could do it with. Um, plenty of other companies put their hand into the pop and done other stuff so I could definitely talk to end about Fox and what they've done and maybe I will we'll see how this retrospective ends up going right so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of an insight into what I'm doing and um, I'll catch you guys next time